Hi guys, so welcome back to Hogwarts Mystery <laughs> Chapter 3 Dealing with Trouble After your encounter with the belligerent Slytherin mirror last night, you must seek out a way to recover the house points you lost. Which means we're gonna get uh, go back to the common room, it seems like. Oh, what is this? You're Timberly Ironclaw, right? Yes, and who are you? And Copper, I'm a first year like you. I just want to say thank you for setting up the Marula's night. Who told you I did that? I was watching from the end of the corridor. I'll be following her so she can't sneak up on me, and if she sees me, I'll, I will at least have a chance to run away. She tormented me the entire way here on the Hogwarts Express. She kept threatening me and calling me a mudblood. I'm sorry, Ben, that's terrible. Marula is obsessed with being the best witch in our year, and she's she thinks she has to impose her will on us to prove it. I'm just glad someone was brave enough to stand up to her. I'm certainly not. It's a joke that I got put in Gryffindor. Everyone is afraid of something, Ben. Unfortunately, I'm afraid of everything. I come from a Muggle family, so all of this is new and scary to me. I know how you feel. I come from a wizard family, and this is hard for me too. I will try to help you however I can, Ben. Thanks, Timberly. I will see you around. Okay, so that we got introduced to a new character, Ben. Reporter Jane. What do you mean the report? You already lost half of 10 house points. We're in fourth place now. What happened? Well, I won 10 house points and then I lost 10 house points. So basically I'm back at zero of what I have earned or lost. It should be fine. Uh, are we gonna check? Oh, here's where you can keep track of the race for the house cup. At the end of each year, the house with the most points. Yeah, we are in fourth place. That is not good. I'm oh, sorry, but who are you and why are you talking to me about house points? I'm your pre prefect, Jane Court. It's a prefect's job to keep to keep order in the house and help fussies like you with their problems. Hmm. Considering what your brother did to have past the reputation, I should have kept a closer eye on you. Well, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Mirror Knight did something to make my potion explode. Huh? You have any proof? No. In any case, Professor Snape already sent you a letter directly to her common room. But wouldn't he send it to me? Hmm. Probably because he despises you. Snape hates everyone, so I wouldn't take it personally. But I would read the le the le that letter immediately. Ironclaw, I've discovered evidence that your potion may have indeed been tampered with. Well, it does not prove your innocence. It does cast some doubt on my belief that you are hopelessly incompetent. Bring my jar pickled slugs from the potion storeroom and I will consider restoring your house points. Snape. There are directions to the potion storeroom at the bottom of the ladder. Hmm. Want me to go with you, Timberley? It's the least I can do after you save me from Marula. Yes. Thanks, Rowan. You know your way around the castle much better than me. Oh. He's offering to give us back the 10 house points you lost, hurry to the potion storm before he changes his mind. Yeah, that sounds a bit surprising to her, so um... What is happening? This seems like out of character, kinda. The direction Snape's letter say this is the potion storeroom. Mm. I always thought it was located in tapestry to corridor, I suppose there must be more than one. Well, yeah, this looks like it's up in one of the towers, it looks high up. Why is it not like down in the dungeon or some? Need to find a jar of pickle slugs and bring those to Snape so I can get those 10 ho house points back. Okay. I can't see a thing. But did you close the door, Rowan? Eh. I did, and it closed behind me as soon as I stepped inside, and I think it's locked. Should cast the one lightning shot to help us see. Well, how convenient we just had that class. <laughs> Very convenient indeed. Lumos. Oh, what the heck? This is not a storeroom. What is that thing? A deadly plant called Devil's Snare. Some footage yes, showed it show, showed it to me when I first arrived. Marula? It's sensitive to light. If you're really better at the one lighting charm than me, escaping will be easy. Marula, you locked us in here? Along with sending you a fake letter for Snape. I told you things would only get worse for you, Ironclaw. You should have never blamed me for your failure in potions. Something has to stop you from ruining Hogwarts. It may as well be Devil's Snare. 
Oh. <gasps> Oof. Oh my god. Oh god, why is he only going for me, Rowan? Ah. Timberly, we have to get out of here. Rilla is right about Devil's Snare being sensitive to light. Use Loomis to hold it off while I try to open the door and call for help. Help, we're trapped in there with Devil's Snare, someone help! Oh god. <laughs> this is chaotic. Holy crap. Is she freezing? Man, I like the animation. It's like very... Yeah. So interesting. I don't even remember if I could, the first time I played this game, if I could bring Rome with me. This animation is really good. You you gotta remember that when this game was released, it was not... A die. This is very high quality for an intro uh, compared to what it was in the beginning when I played it. I really enjoyed this so far. It's quite different. Oh god, it's ruining my robes. Come on, dude. God, Rula owns me a new robe. The light itself is in the knob. Maybe use Lumos. Uh, what did I say? Oh no, there's so many of them. Are you gonna kick that? L Lumos is slowing it down, but it's not enough. Lumos. Help someone, please. We, we need, like, the spell and mine. Yeah, I, I wish I knew Incendio. Lumos, I can't, can't oh. keep this up much longer. Keep it up, Timberley. I think I hear someone. <sighs> what was the spell Hermione used? Was uh, something... something solemn? Something like that. Oh, what's going on in there? Out of the way. Holy crap, dude. It's a lot of banging. Jesus. Dropping gargoyles. Half above. Get away from the devil's snare. You're scaring it. I'm scaring it. Mm. Let's get you out of the way. Oh god, my robe. And Rowan is fine. You saved my life. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Ruby is Hagrid at your service. I'm keeper of the keys and grounds at Hogwarts. Pleasure to meet you. Now, Timberly Ironclaw. Mm. Are you the ones everyone been talking about? Maybe... Maybe trouble really does run in your family. How did you end up in there, Timberley? A first year slithering named Marilla Snide locked us inside. Hey. She did? What are you going to do? Well, I want to tell Dumbledore. I'm going to tell Professor Dumbledore and make sure she's punished. Uh -huh. You have any proof? I have a fake letter from Snape, but I can't prove she's the one who wrote it. Mm. Professor Dumbledore would want to, uh, to help you, but even he can do anything if you don't have proof. Well, I kind of do. If I just show it to Snape and ask him, did you write this? And he's like, no, this is an imposter. Then he can bring it to, like, I kind of have proof. You think about it, Timberley. It's easy to make sure, but, but be sure you can live with him. Thanks, Hagrid. Hopefully I will see you again. Yes, certainly will, Timberley. But for now, you better get back to your common room. Yeah. My prefect expects me to return with 10 high bones or so to half above. I will have to... I will have explained to do. While you're doing that, I think of something that was cheering up. I will send you a message when the surprise is ready. Oh, you just met us and you wanna give us a surprise already? Okay, Hagrid. Okay. Uh, welcome to Hogwarts. Welcome to your own interactive Hogwarts story. Through your journey, you will get to make your own choices, learn new spells, and discover new activities as a student at Hogwarts. Progress in your journey to help Hagrid bond with magical creatures. Chapter 6. Join Hogwarts Clubs. Chapter 7. Try out for the Quidditch team. Year 2. Hmm. Go on dates. Year 4. And make new friends while using your skills to investigate the mysterious at Hogwarts. Enjoy your journey. Oh, I can find a Niffler. Guess we can. Oh, I got a toffee. Hmm. There's one little Niffler. And I get some gems for it. Pretty neat, pretty neat. But let's go to back to the common room and explain to Jane <laughs> what happened to us. Jesus Christ. Oh. Bloody hell, what happened to your robes? I got snared by Devil Snare. Uh. Devil Snare? How? What happened with Professor Snape? 
It was a trick. Marula snide faked the note and trapped me in a room with devil's snare. Hmm. What is it with you and this girl? I think she's th threatened by me. I think she hates that I'm the only Fazia who stood up to her. Hmm. And I take it you once again don't have any proof. I have the fake letter from Snape, but I can't prove she is the one who wrote it. Aww. Well, you can't go around the castle dressed like that. Our head of house, Professor Sprout, will have a fit. Hmm. People are already look at you like you're mad because of your brother. I can go and change into fresh robes. Hmm. Better yet, pick some to the way outside of class. That's one way to make an impression at Hogwarts. Here we go. Fresh new robes. Glad we had a spear. Wow, this is quite a smart outfit. You look brilliant. Thanks, but I mainly just have to, to be, have escaped that devil's snare. Trying to think about it during your first flying class, you will need to complete focus to summon your broom. I will learn how to summon my broom in my very first class. Yeah. Yes, hurry to the training grounds. Your lesson will begin soon. Well, it's very good. She knows when her what do you say the other students the timetables of them that's a good uh, prefect well if you remember that uh, uh, percy has um, he knows harry's timetable because he's constantly telling like oh it's your flying class next i know some game did uh, i don't know i don't remember which but here we are Madame Hooch. She looks so cool. Welcome to your first flying class. I will be your instructor, Madame Hooch. I've been dreading this class all summer. You're afraid of heights? Falling from heights mostly. I told you I come from a muggle family. The idea of flying on a broom is, is terrifying. Yeah, I bet it is. It's like no safety at all. Hmm. Today you will learn to summon your broom. A well maintained broom is a fast broom. Two broom care stations. Oh, okay. Well done. You now know how to summon your broom. Class is dismissed. Oh. Madame Hooch said quite a lot about falling to her death. Though I suppose I don't have to worry about falling if I never actually fly. You just need to get used to the idea of flying, Ben. I'm sure Rowan has some books about flying that we can borrow. Mm. But it seems that Rowan has already left. Actually, I should check on Rowan. We had quite an encounter with... Uh, some devil snare. We were both too preoccupied with summoning a bruise that have talked about it just oh. now. I was preoccupied with avoiding Marilla Snide. I have unfinished business with Marilla too. But devil snare sounds even more terrifying than the Marilla. Even coming across a sprig of Disney has been known to catch me off guard. So where do you think Rowan might have gone? Hmm. Perhaps to the courtyard? Rowan has asked me to play gobstones there, but I'm afraid I will get sprayed. Sprayed? No one can explain. You should play cups dance with her. I could use a bit of fun. I will look for Rowan in the courtyard now. Okay, let's do that. And there's Filch with his little kitty. Just eyeing us. It's interesting how we come from wizard family, but we don't know about cups dance. And Ben, it seems like Ben knows about it, but he comes from muggle family. Pretty courtyard. Hmm. Did Ben tell you I've been looking for a mate to play gobstones with? I'm so glad it's you. Rowan, you left a fast flying class so quickly. Are you alright? Mm. As right as the one can be after a dreadful run-in with Devil's Snare. Mm. I couldn't bear to talk about it in flying class or to even look at Marilla's side. Huh? The nerve of her luring us in there with a fake note. Yeah, and also like just accepting that we got treated like that but another student and just keep doing classes with her. Like, without anything doing from the teachers. He's like, I don't like that at all. It's like, any inconvenience happened in my school back in... I don't know what it's called in English. But the first first school that you go to after kindergarten. Yeah, the, t the teachers were on the problems directly. And it was never any drama or anything like that because of it because they were so like they took responsibility they didn't put the trouble on another student to fix with that student so if one student had a problem they wouldn't send another student to fix it they as teachers took the responsibility to fix it oh so i i'm really sad for the 
minutes in this game. I've not dealt with the Marula yet either. Yes, you're the one who got tangled up. And how are you feeling about Marula's betrayal? Well, I'm not over it. This isn't over for me. Marula can't go on bullying us. Whatever help you need, you need to suffer, you can count on me. Perhaps I can already help you with Marula. What do you mean, Rowan? Oh. I want to understand why Marula is such a bully. Eh. So I've been researching her family to try to understand why she acts the way she does. Hmm. And well, I learned a terrible secret about her parents. What secret? Oh. But now to say it out loud, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should. Rowan, you must. It's quite serious. Perhaps we should just play gobstones. That's what we're here for. I will play if you let me at least try to convince you to share what you know. Hmm. Interesting. Challenge accepted. So, how do we play? Huh. It's a bit like the Muggle game Marbles, except each time as uh, each time a point is scored, the loser is sprayed in the face. Spray with war. Huh. No one knows, but it smells awful. Alright, I suppose we'll learn as we play. Yes. And we have played this game in in Order of the Phoenix, I think it was. On PC. Good luck, Timberly. Oh god, I didn't get to read because I misclicked. Yes, sir. Do you know how one wins? Uh, that one, I think. Okay. You're right about that, Timberly. Nicely done. Let's keep playing. I bet Marula cheats at the games. Cheating is always wrong, I guess. Yeah, that is the green choice. That's good to know, you're brilliant at this. Let's see how Ghostlands could bring us closer. Perhaps I will win the game. Will you trust in my research? Uh, yes, of course. Blindly trust. Let's go. You beat me, Timberly. Pretty impressive for your first time playing Ghostlands. Well, I guess it is. Hey, okay, already level 2 with friendship with her. So I guess it's important to level up the friendship with your character. Because he said you can take this character on adventures. So we'll try to keep up the uh, a high level on the friendships on everyone. So when the choices come, I can take whoever I want and not have any lockdown. Good game, Timberly. <laughs> Some people think up something is cool, but I've always considered it to be the thinking witch Quidditch. Yeah, I can agree with that. It was fun. Thank you for showing me how to play. Hmm. We will have to play more often. I want to be the captain of Hogwarts a Gobstone Seam one day. What about Marilla? She'd be a dreadful Gobstone captain. She's such a bully. I meant, do you feel more comfortable now about sharing with me your secret about Marilla's parents? Hmm. Actually, I do. Al already you've been a good friend to me. Hmm. Marie is such uncovered that Marilla's pants are locked up in Azkaban. Locked up in Azkaban? For doing what? You're in the Wizarding War. They will lower to he who must not be named. That's quite serious. Thank you for telling me, Rowan. Thanks for playing. I've never been especially good at making friends. We became friends pretty quickly. Most people think I'm either a useless weakling or an awkward nerd, but you're weird. <laughs> you're weird like me. No offense. I think it is a compliment. Oh. Isn't this precious? <laughs> Hello, Ironclaw. You're unfortunately looking well after f wrestling with the Devil's Snare. I was surprised you made it through a fast flying class. I was surprised you didn't mention the Devil's Snare then. <laughs> I was too busy being the best student in the class. Perhaps you can go away and busy yourself with something else now. <laughs> oh, I've been quite busy, Ironclaw. <laughs> While you're off playing with plants, I've been doing a little research about your brother. Why did you just leave me alone? Because you're dangerous to hope was just like him. None of us will be safe until you're gone. Huh? What are you talking about, Marula? <laughs> Our close brother didn't just get expelled for endangering Hogwarts in such imaginary vaults. Oh. He immediately went missing and the next time he was seen he was working for Voldemort. Oh. You can't say that. You have to call him he must not be named. I say what I want. You're lying about my brother having anything to do with he who must not be named. No wonder the professors were talking about you before the feast. They're wondering if you work for the Dark Lord too. Oh my god, what the heck? I don't remember. We 
us having this conversation. What the heck? Um. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna expose her secrets. I don't know what you ever bring up here, must not be named given your family history. You don't know anything about me. I know that your parents are in Azkaban for being loyal, loyal to he you must not be named in the Wizarding Moor. I finally understand why you're always so angry. I'm angry that you've been snooping about my parents. Well, you kind of did the same about me, so... Just giving you the same medicine. I did the snooping. Rowan. It's no different than you res researching my brother, Marilla. Yeah. Why did you just drop out of Hogwarts? Save half a, half a buff of the embarrassment of being associated with you. You're just, af you just afraid that I will be better than you. Afraid? I will do you right now. Nah. -uh. You aren't worth any. <laughs> you, you are not worth my time, Marilla. Keep your nonsense to yourself. Don't walk away from me. Lupando. Oh god. Well, she hit. Whoa. Yeah, she threw the first spell. Then a few more spells, I don't know, maybe next time we'll put up a fight. Oh. Marilla is never going to leave us alone. Not unless I learn more spells and find someone who can teach me how to duel. Well, I guess that is something that is needed. You can view your friendships here. Circle Friendship means a friend can help you on more adventures. Yeah, as I predicted. Okay, so right now we only have Rowan. Excellent. Chapter 3 complete. Dealing with trouble. Okay, what is the next one? Okay, we leveled up. Chapter 4, Dueling Motives. Okay, so that is... Yeah, we're gonna go to the training grounds in the next episode. So I hope you will be joining me for that. And... Uh... Oh, I got a card. Let's check it out. I got Dumbledore. Oh my god, look at the flowers. What is this? Oh, I can... Oh, it's moves. Headmaster of Hogwarts. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I got another one right away. Who are you? Who is that? Flavius Belby. You only know wizard to survive a lethifold attack. A lethifold? Oh, I was wondering what the Lethifold actually was, also known as a living shroud. It was a carnivore, carnivore's extremely dangerous magical beast. It was also considered a dark creature because of its extremely aggressive and violent nature. A uh, Lethifold resembles a black cloak, roughly half an inch thick and appeared slightly thicker if the creature had risen and died instead of a victim. It glided along surface in an unknown form of loco motion in search of its prey. Humans. It attacked a knight when the target was asleep by suffocating and then digesting them. Ooh. This is probably one of the most like scary creatures ever <laughs> in the Fantastic Beast. Ew. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty impressive, Flavius Belby. Well, that was that. Going to the training ground in the next one. So I hope you really enjoyed today's episode. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see more content from me, I suggest you subscribe if you're new here. And I hope we see each other for my next video. Bye guys.